Hello everyone, welcome back to my guitar classes. So in the last uh, session I had explained you about the bar chords and how do you play it so, and also the major and minor uh, chords, right? So just for a quick recap, I'll just uh, give you a small introduction again to the bar chords. So if you hold your first fret on the very first string, I mean like you cover your whole first fret like this and you place your fifth, uh, third finger and the fourth finger that is the little finger on the fifth string and the fourth string placing your second finger on the third string second fret will give you the F major sound right something like this right and if you remove your middle finger it gives you F minor sound right so it's a difference right so this is the F major and F minor sound. Moving next, when you uh, shift to the next fret, similar to the F major, like you know, in F major also you are holding like this, and you just shift. So this gives you the sound of the F sharp major, right? Similarly, if you remove your middle finger, this is the sound difference. Major, right? Similarly, if you shift more, this is your G major. Remove it. G minor, D sharp major, D sharp minor, A major, A minor. Yeah, so question might come, oh A major was somewhere over here. So yes, you can play from here also as well as over here also. The same song comes. Right? If you remove it, A minor, move ahead, A sharp major, A sharp minor. Right? Then you have B, then B was somewhere over here also, right? So move, on, so on. So today I'll be uh, like, we'll take up a song, Pani the very one of the most common song and uh, easy to understand, right? So I'll just today what we'll do is like we'll break that Pani the song, we'll understand what exactly how the intro has been played in a very simple way, right? So that you can practice. And I'm really looking forward that you join up my classes through uh, this application Piggy Right. So I'm really hoping uh, that you know you guys do come learn from me and explore the music. Let's go for it. So as I had explained, uh, the Panida song is somewhat like. Then I do something like, right, I, I slide, so it's like, right, so over here, let's come back to the original, uh, like the first part, so again, I had explained you what exactly is E minor chord, the chords used over here is E minor, D major and C major, right, E minor chord, again, I'll explain you how do you uh, hold it and how do you play it. So E minor uh, chord is basically you put your fifth string and the fourth string and uh, you place your second finger and your third finger on the second fret. So on fifth string and the fourth string you place your second and third finger, second fret like this, right? And I had explained you about the strumming also, something like down up or down up down or down up down up down. So down up down up down down up down up down right so over here what you need to do is play this one then you go to d major i hope you remember d major chord if not i'll explain you again you place your index finger on the third string second fret then you place your uh, third finger on the second string third fret and the middle finger on the first string second fret Right? You can also discover it by the notes, so you can just check by the method which I had explained you. The open string is E, then after E, what comes is F, F sharp and G and so on. Right? Similarly for all the strings. So, uh, so this becomes our job pretty much easy. So, after moving from D, we go to the C major. C major chord I had explained already. So, it starts with the 5th string, 3rd fret, then 4th string, 2nd fret and 2nd string, 1st fret. Beautiful chord, beautiful sound. Right, so over here we have just three chords for now. Right, so how about the intro? Like, if you hear that um, song, like you know, it goes something like ting 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 ting, something like you know, like this. Right, 
somewhat like this so how do you how do you get that sound so what i am doing is like 4312343423 that i am holding e minor chord and playing it 4312343123 i do it twice so it's something like 1 4312343123d major same pattern again 4312343123 this is an e minor then i shift to d major 4312343123 So I do it two times of E on E minor and two times on D major, and then I shift on D major. So for C major, what I do? I just press my fifth string, fourth string, and third string, just down in a downward direction. Five, four, three. So. So after C major, five, four, three string playing downward. After D major, playing five, four, three downward. Or five, four, three. It depends. Like you can also play four, three, two because since our D major is on the high up end, right? It's on the first string, second string, and the third string. So you can do as like you know third string, second string, and first string, or maybe fourth string, third string, second string. It's on you again, right? So something like again, if I play from E minor. Three one two three four three one two three four three one two three four three one two three, right? And then I slide like this, right? And then one. You can do for the simple uh, pattern for now is down up down up down down up down up down. So if I want to play from the start, One strum C major, one strum D major. Right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the starting phase of the uh, song Pani Da. It's very simple. It's based on three chords: E minor, D major, C major. right the introduction is also very easy so it gives you a practice for like you know the string pattern practice like you know something like yes that's correct it's a metallica song nothing else matter uh, so you know like uh, if you just see it's just for your finger exercise like you know 4312343123431234312 c major then d major and then you start with the song you can take up any pattern regardless of this song take any random patterns you can start playing up take up g major for an example then you can take up c major or may you may take a major anything you sound you'll get a better sound that that's how you learn explore the things right something like this so i hope you are in the, uh, like you have got uh, the song pani das intro now moving ahead so it's uh, with the song like if i uh, if i st uh, start singing the lyrics pani da rang vake pani da rang vake peri c major akhiya jo anjo road then road i can what i can do road there right something so let's take up the part again pani da rang vake pani da rang vake very akhiyan 
You can take up in any different patterns like Pani da Rango Ake Tere Akiya Jodhe Right? You can take up, you can break up the summing patterns like Dang Tadak Dang Again Dang Tadak Dang Or Dang Tadak Dang So I have a very common pattern Dum Pichak Dum So Dum Pichak Dum Dum Pichak dum, dum pichak dum, change, dum pichak dum, right? So these are the some of the standard patterns where you can learn and where you can actually see the difference. Like you know, you know, stumming up differently. This will definitely help you out, right? So if you have to, if I have to sing, uh, like you know, uh, the front part. Mahiyanaya mera Mahiyanaya Again E minor Mahiyanaya mera D major Mahiyanaya I do C major Rajnanaya mera D major Mahiyanaya Rajnanaya mera I do it again C and then E minor Rajanana aya akanda noor veke Right? You can take up that pattern Dum, pechak dum, pechak dum Dum, pechak dum, pechak dum Dum, pechak dum, pechak dum Down, up, down, up, down This is the simplest one You can choose any one of them Once you feel that you know you are comfortable while playing this pattern Down, up, down, up down, you can take up the other pattern. Dum, pechak dum, pechak dum, dum, pechak dum, pechak dum. Or, right? Right? You can try up from that. Then you have. कोठे उठे बैठे अखियों में रोंदे ना जाना बे तू कभी छोड़े तेरे उत्तमर था प्यार ते नुकर दा I just played this thing तेरे उत्तमर था प्यार ते नुकर दा मेरे ना मुझे ना कोई और right what I'm doing is just down strum individual I'm playing individual string that's it right so it's sounding so good it's just that you need to be playing your you need to play your uh, like you know uh, the respective chord very you know like in a very smooth manner make sure that each and every string sounds or each and every particular note sounds sounds well, right? And yes, of course, strumming is very much important. So for the basic thing, like you know, if I used to like you know, if I was the student, like how would I practice? It's like I put my fingers like this. I will not press it. I will not press the fret, but I'll just keep it like this. Just mute it. So first pattern, if I want to do, is down and up. The second pattern if I want to do is down, up, down. Again, down, up. The second pattern, down, up, down. Third pattern, down, up, down, up, down. Right? That's how I practice. So once I feel, once I feel that I'm okay, I'm good to go, then I'll take up the chords and then. The whole song is in the similar pattern, just that. Mahiyanaaya mera mahiyanaaya, Rajnanaaya mera mahiyanaaya, Rajnanaaya mera Rajnanaaya. C major to E minor. Akanda. 
नूर बहक के इट इज सेम लाइक पानी रंग बहके If you want to give that electric song Pani da Rang vake Pani da Rang vake Vare Akhiya jo anji Jod de Right, so this I am using the bar chords but it gives me a feel of a power chord, right? So power chords are basically from your 5th string, 4th string and 3rd string. You'll have to Right, you know, something like this. So I hope you enjoyed today's session and uh, yeah, keep learning. Join my classes and uh, learn more. Take care. Bye.